Hey guys, today I did a sort of contour slash foundation routine. So that will include my foundation, powders, uh, concealers, and bronzers, my blush, my highlighter, just everything that I usually do for the base of my face, not including my eyes or lipstick or any of that other jazz. So I hope you all enjoy the video and let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is applying this moisturizer to my face from Lather. And I actually got this in an Ipsy bag a long time ago and reordered it. It's a non-greasy moisturizer, so it really does well on my face. Next thing I'm using on my face is the um, Benefit Professional Primer. And this really leaves a smooth finish for my foundation and it makes my pores look smaller, which is what it's supposed to do, so it does a good job of that. The next thing I'm putting on my face is uh, my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and it's in the shade 110, here that is. And I'm just dampening a beauty blender and applying that to my face and sponging that in. Also, please excuse the weird camera focusing and lighting issues. I'm still trying to work that out and figure out all of the little things that I need to fix and modify because I did get a new camera and a new light setting. When doing your foundation, it's really, really important that you blend that into your ears and down your neck so that it blends and makes it look like your face is not a completely different color from your body. So after I have blended in my foundation, I do go back and do my eyeshadow and then I conceal after. So here is my Urban Decay Concealer and I'm pretty sure this is in the palest shade. Um, and then I'm just applying that to the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead, sides of my nose, on the sides of my lip and my chin. And then I also do my under eyes in a triangle shape. I am then going to blend that in with my damp beauty blender on the little pointed set. set my face, I'm using the NARS Translucent Pressed Powder in the shade Crystal and I'm also applying that with a Real Techniques face brush. It's actually the setting brush. And I'm just applying all the places that I have concealed and a little bit on the sides of my forehead. Then I'm going to go back with my regular powder brush and powder the rest of my face. For contouring, I'm going to be using an angle brush from MAC and the Kat Von D contour palette. So to bronze, I'm just taking that center shade and putting it in the hollows of my cheeks and on the sides of my forehead, and I'm blending that in very seamlessly. And then after that, I will be taking the bottom shade, which is kind of a more cool tone shade, and just further defining my cheekbones and my jawline and then also the sides of my forehead to make my face look a little bit slimmer. When contouring your jawline, it is very important that you blend it down your neck, even if it's just what's left on your brush or if there's no product on the brush, it's very important to blend that down your neck so it doesn't look like you have a line of dark. For contouring my nose, I'm just taking a small eyeshadow brush and putting the cool tone shade down the sides of my nose, creating a straight line. And then I'm going to put it in the bottom sort of center of my nose. You'll see where I put it. And I put it on the tip of my nose as well. This just makes my nose look slimmer and it kind of gives it a shape that I would rather have than my original nose. It just kind of defines it the way that I would like it. So now I'm just taking this uh, yellow shade and I'm tapping it on the places that did not have the uh, contour powder and I'm putting the lighter highlighting shades around the contour and then I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and just blending that all in just as I would do eyeshadow and this is going to make it look seamless and natural. I do go back in with that yellow shade and highlight the points that I did not have the bronzer on it and then just blend that in with my setting brush. I do contour below my lip to make it look a little bit bigger and more plump. 
and then on the sides of my top lip just a little bit to just kind of make my lips look a little bit bigger. And after all of that contouring, I take what's left on my powder brush and just lightly blend that in. For blush, I'm using a MAC blush and it's in the shade Desert Rose and I'm also using an angled brush. It's one that I got in an Ipsy bag. Um, I think it's a Lux, Luxy brush or something like that. And I'm just putting this on the sides of my cheekbones and making sure not to bring this towards my center of my face too much because that can give my face a weird shape on me personally. So I try to, try to kind of keep it on the outer parts of my face. And then I'm going to be going in with my Becca highlighter and a fan brush from Sephora. And here's that highlighter. And I'm just putting this on all the high points of my face, which include the tops of my cheekbones, the center of my forehead and chin, on my cupid's bow of my lip, and down the center of my nose. The last thing I'm going to be doing after this is just setting this with my Urban Decay setting spray. And this is going to just make my makeup stay all day. But I really want to thank you all for watching this video and for supporting me all the way to 100 subscribers. I'm just trying to grow my channel and just make some great videos for y'all. And just thank you for supporting me and I thank y'all for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up or share or like my tweet or whatever. Um, but please subscribe and I will see y'all in my next week's video or the second one that I post this week. It includes um, eyeliner tutorials, eyebrow tutorials and an eyeshadow, an everyday eyeshadow tutorial. So I will see y'all next week or this week if I get another one up. And thank y'all for watching. Bye.